Hi, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Amanda and today I am doing a holiday get ready with me for this look. I forgot to do an intro so this will be it. I hope you enjoy it. Please feel free to subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. I am not a pro at makeup. This is like an easy version of, hol of a holiday look. Um, and it's not even really going to be very holiday-ish because I'm wearing red and I honestly don't know what makeup looks good with red. Should I pull off red lipstick? I don't think I could pull off red lipstick. Maybe like a dark red or neutral. I always gravitate towards like neutrals and stuff like that. So this is the primer that I'm using. This is the Prime Time by Bare Essentials. So my company doesn't do holiday parties. So this is a holiday party for Kurt's company. We are going to the California Academy of Sciences. So that's kind of exciting. It's kind of different. It's like a museum. You can kind of walk around. Um, and I haven't been there in a little while. Anyway, so this is my foundation slash CC cream. So this is the A Cosmetics color correcting full coverage. And then I have this sponge. This is from Amazon. I actually prefer having my hair up, but I just did it. So can't really do that. I've been wanting one of those, those headbands, you know? And so I could wear it while I do like makeup and skincare and stuff like that. I got this sponge because Christine Lee recommended it on YouTube and I'll link her channel down below. It's been good so far. I don't know, I'm not really picky with my sponges, but I was definitely needing a new one. So I just decided to go for it because it was affordable. 13 or 14 bucks for like four different sponges. So I was like, why not? It's cheaper than a beauty blender and like that's what I was using before so I'm really not like trying to flick you off. I just have extra product on this finger and I'm trying not to I'm trying not to get it anywhere. Wow I look super white on camera. Maybe I should adjust the lighting. I don't know guys. I don't Should I have been at this level the whole time? I don't know why I look, look like a ghost on camera, but of course I broke out like on Wednesday. So my forehead has all these breakouts right before the party and I usually don't get breakouts. I don't know what it is. I've been getting breakouts more recently and they're always like either Wednesday or Thursday. They just all randomly appear at once when I get home and I'm like, you guys come from i don't even know i think i need to do my chest because i started breaking out here too and if i have like extra product i usually just kind of like use my sponge and wipe it off i don't know if anyone else does that but i don't really want to like go wash my hands or anything so that's what i do to avoid getting up and stuff i'm lazy i think next is eyes i will prime my eyes i got a new eyeshadow primer because i finally ran out of my next one after years I'm using this Urban Decay one that my friend got me, the primer potion. Um, because I'm doing more of a full-on eyeshadow look, I'll put on more primer than usual. Which finger do you guys use to, to do your eyeshadow primer? I don't know why I do the pinky finger. I just started doing it for some reason and now it's just a habit, I don't know. Next is eyebrows. You know me, my Anastasia medium bra medium medium brown brow powder medium brown brow powder duo <laughs> it's so hard to say i finally started a new one so my eyebrows i like just can't get perfect like everyone else i don't know how much time everyone puts into their eyebrows but like i just don't get them perfect they actually look like really good on camera but they're like up close they're not like amazing it's probably this ring light the ring light makes everything look better <laughs> wow i still look really white like a ghost I look more tan in my mirror. <laughs> they just seem like so splotchy, especially like in these front areas. Actually, this eyebrow, it just seems like there are so many gaps everywhere. I just, I don't know what to do. I, I know I can use pencil, but on a daily basis, like when I'm going to work, I just like don't need it perfect. So I just don't. I'll maybe go with pencil later on. We'll see how the whole look looks. For eyeshadow, I literally use like one brush most of the time and I know you're not supposed to, but I'm just not a huge makeup person. So this is what you do when you like aren't super into makeup and you just have enough to get by or know enough to get by. Hmm, what color 
colors this one as a base or this one maybe these three i don't think i've really used this one before and i think i rubbed off like some of my old eyeshadow from this brush i just use a napkin makeup people all around are like laughing at me or shaking their head Actually, I need to pluck my eyebrows. Fridays are like for plucking eyebrows and I just missed today. Next, I'm gonna use this one. Oh, sorry. This is my favorite, the Too Faced Natural Matte. On a typical like night out, I will use this one, which is called Sexpresso. <laughs> but I just need like the dark brown because my eyes are like pretty hooded and so that just helps. Actually, maybe I'll put it like all along the bottom because I need that help with my eyelids. I think I'm gonna go a little darker because it's a, it's a party, so why not? And then like blend it out a little bit. Wow, that looks like really dark. Oh yeah, that got dark like real fast. But then when I close my eyes, you can barely see anything, so that's my life. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should use pink. I don't think I've tried that one before. And just put it up here. Sure. Okay, my eyebrows are bothering me, so I just need to like pluck them real quick. I'm back. My eyes are watery from plucking my eyebrows. <laughs> I should be moisturizing my lips during this process, so Vaseline. Eyeliner. I'm not quite sure if I should do eyeliner first or eyelashes first, but I think I'll just do eyeliner. Oh, I hate when it's like already thicker than I wanted it to be. I don't know if I want to do a wing. Let's just try no wing for now. This is the Kat Von D ink liner and it's so funny because I think last time during my engagement shoot tutorial, I used the tattoo liner because I was accidentally gifted that and I was like, I don't, I really don't like the tattoo liner. I actually prefer the ink liner. And then now going back to the ink liner, I like just don't like it. I don't know. I think I like the tattoo liner better. This is the Kat Von D. But I was actually just sent the Joa um, I'm So Fly liner. I think this one is good too. And it's drugstore. So maybe I'll go back to trying drugstore products because... I'm like not really impressed with the Kat Von D one anymore. So I'm just using this just until it's done and then I'm gonna switch to drugstore, I think. So Joa, I think is CVS's new like Korean beauty line type of makeup. So that's where that is from. Like this one accidentally got thick and so I had to just like make this one thicker. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Wow, it kind of looks like nothing in the camera. <laughs> Oh well. So I got sent these new lashes from KISS. They're the Blowout Page Boy. If I can get them to stick on my lash line. Okay, I definitely need a mirror for this. I think this is like the right size. The only thing is this band is pretty thick. I mean, it's clear, but it does feel kind of thick. So we will see how this goes. This is a random like Japanese um, eyelash glue. I found it on Amazon. It's dupe something. The reason why I like it is because it's black. So I will try this out. I hate putting on lashes. I'm not good at it. I'm actually surprised I got on the first try. Actually, I should have curled my lashes first. So I'll curl this side. So it blends in better. I think it's too long. It goes down too far. Yeah, it like touches the bottom of my eye. <laughs> but if I take it off, then I have to redo them. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just like carefully cut off the edge and see if it stays. Oh! this end. I think it's staying. I may have cut my real eyelashes because I totally forgot my real eyelashes were underneath. <laughs> I definitely cut my eyelashes. I totally forgot they were there. I wish they would stand up a little bit more. Well, that's so weird when they're imbalanced. Thought these lashes would be more bold by the way they look like in the packaging, but when I look at myself, it's not bad. Like I kind of like it. <laughs> I dropped it. Oh my god. I think I could still use it. It just barely touched my chair. Usually it like falls forward. So I like need to just push it up. 
Oh my god, I did both on the first try. That is... I must be getting better at this. Now my eyeshadow doesn't look so dramatic anymore. Actually, can you even see it? Really? Not really, but... Yeah. Don't think I'll do anything on the bo on my bottom lash line. I'll just leave it like that. And I kind of like not having an, a wing. I feel like the wing actually makes my eyes look smaller, so... I am going to not do that today. I'm going to use some bronzer. Finally started a new one of this. This is just the Bare Minerals Warmth. I've been using this since I've been using foundation, so... I don't know, I just haven't really tried anything else and I like it, so... Maybe I should put some, like, a little bit of shimmer on my eyes just for, like, the holidayness. I'm nervous because I don't do shimmer, so I'm scared to like mess up my whole eyes. <laughs> Maybe I'll try for like a little bit of shimmer, like just a little bit. I have this um, eyeshadow from Bare Minerals that I've had forever. It is in cultured pearl oh my god it is very full basically it's like this color i don't know how to work with powder or shimmer inner corners that's safe oh my god it's not safe when i do it and then under brows i kind of want to put a little bit here where i put the pink so maybe i'll just do like Tiny, tiny bit. Oh, why did I use my normal brush? Now it's gonna have shimmer all over it. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit here on like the, the half. It's okay. I'm here to make all the mistakes. I don't know if you can tell that I put it on. I kind of want to put on all the whole lid. I'm just gonna do it just because it's like really pretty. Holidays call for shimmer, right? So I'm just gonna use my finger. I follow these YouTubers that like experiment a lot with like eyeshadow and makeup and stuff and I like don't do all that. Like they'll use crazy colors like orange and red eyeshadow, blue eyeshadow and like I can't do that. I gotta stick to the neutrals. So this is my, this is my venturing out of my comfort zone right here. I think I'm just gonna use a primer spray, this or setting spray. This is the Milani. Make it last, and this was also recommended by Christine Lee, so I just listen to her because she knows better than I do. My eyebrows look okay for this look. They don't look too dramatic, but I guess I could go in with an eyebrow pencil just to fill in the random cracks. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon. Don't know what color this is. It's some type of brown. Did they get like significantly darker? Oh my god, they totally did. I'm gonna try to blend that out with the spoolie. Yeah, I just like don't know how to do brows well like everyone else. Everyone's looks like freaking perfect. I don't know how. Okay, uh, lips, shoot. Okay, so I'm wearing red. What lip? But I'm wearing like bright red. I bought this like years ago when I thought I could like do red and it's pretty bright. I mean, it's kind of dark. It's like a dark red. Then I have this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills in color Dazed. And I like Anastasia's formula. Ooh, I do not like that. That is like super dark. That is like almost brown. That's a no-go. I also bought this years ago. This is the Revlon Color Burst in, in Standout and it's pretty red also. It's this one. That's not bad. It's more of a dark red, whereas this one's the Rimmel Show Off is a bright red. It almost matches my dress. I think this little sample from Makeup Forever. Oh, no. It's similar to the. Oh, shoot. I closed it with the lid. Ugh. Hi. Such a noob move. It's kind of like the other one I tried out. And then I have this. This is from Bu Buxom. Buxom. I don't really know how to pronounce this brand. I just got it in like a set and this is in Dolly. Yeah, that's like a candy. Out of these two, I'm kind of leaning towards the dark one, but honestly, my dress is closer to this one. Like it's bright red. And so should my lips match my dress? 
I don't even know the rules for this. I think it should match. So I think I'm gonna lean, lean towards this. I know it's kind of ballsy because I've never wear this color. Like, oh my God, that is so red. But I think I'm just gonna have to go for it. I'm nervous, okay. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. I tend to wipe off or dab off like half of the product. Okay, so this is the final look. This is the dress. As you can see, the lip actually matches it pretty well. So I also combed out my hair. So this is what I'm going to look like when I go out later today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it or learned something, but probably not because um, I don't really know what I'm doing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this makeup look and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Happy holidays.